lot of mobility in it. They have pretty good engage tools. They have the global with the Twisted Fates that they can easily look to play around through sides. But G2, very similar to what we've often seen from them in recent weeks. They have a very strong mid jungle that I imagine they'll look to play through, I think, up to uh, early on into the game as Yanko starts his topside path down towards bot. Yeah, to see the question mark ping on the Raptors there on bot side, I think that it'll expire before Yanko starts to get there. He's full clearing bot now, fighting top, armor. Night ticking, wonder could he go down here? Is armor going to commit anything else? No flash, keep that in mind. So just the ignite that does come. I think he's just hovering, covering for the time being, waiting for it's that dive. croak to spawn. Yeah, he's not actually gone for his red buff yet. Yeah, it's a dive. It's going to be a dive. TPs are available for everyone right now. How many resources are going to be committed? Wind becomes lightning, connects. Karzi is now going to be in trouble. He leaps back out to safety. Three stacks looking for four on the concussive blows. Clean dive. Mickey takes the tower aggro. Easy first blood now. Do they go for the redive on the Kaiser? Up. Health bars, are they going to be enough? Kaiser trying to stun as many members as he can, but it's easy. Reckless with a double three minutes into the game. That was so clean. The reason this dive was easily executed by G2 was because Yankos landed his W and Mickey landed the Q onto Karzi before it even happened, before anyone took aggro. It was a prior lanes that G2 have. Wonder playing on the weak side of the map at a small deficit, but He's doing absolutely fine, so good start to early. Uh, to the early so game. G2 should be able to pick up this neutral for free. And Mad Lion's just losing out on the map slowly but surely. And you'd think that Reckless would lose something here by rotating. Slowly but surely, Karzi flying a little bit behind in both gold and experience against the 2-0 Reckless. And it's only going to get worse as he really cannot approach that wave. I like the use of Harold Bot. Uh, I think that given Kaiser's roaming around the map and they had rough information of where he would be, the fact that Humanoid can't collapse as well, and they had the wave bot lane, just funnel more resources into Reckless. You can see that he has a 1.5k The 2 versus 2 and investing their resources. G2 emulating that style and using their prior mid well. Yeah, look at Armwood though. He's basing. He can TP in. So Mad Lions want to look to some kind of contest here. One is trying to base two, but they're going to force it. Ghost. Ulti now coming out. Where's the Twisted Fate going to go? Sonic Wave connects, but there's going to be no follow-up. Armut's still waiting in base. He's now finally going to return to lane. Mad Lions may be feeling like they can start this Drake, but G2 haven't lost too much from the exchange. Looks like they've pushed them off because Caps and Reckless have to catch waves, but I think G2 aren't done here. No Leon ult, and Wunder's in a good spot to TP here. That could be a fight. Yanko's committing. TP now coming in behind them. Reckless in no man's land. He's all isolated to himself. Armut now coming in. Maybe get a little bit of damage down. Ezreal not really going to connect on much of anyone. Yanko's now running for the hills. Humanoid grabbing a kill back. G2 ready to return for the fight. That's the ulti coming out from Varus. Karzi locked up over the wall. Reckless now out of mana. It's going to be big for the lethality bars. He's eating up the Gwen. He's going to spit him right back out. Easy kill for Wonder. Now Cap's going for the follow-up. Oh, yeah, yeah, incredibly low. Karzi. Is he feeling confident? G2 backing away, but no one is getting the Drake, crucially. Yeah, but G2 are very split up at the start of that fight. Eventually, pick up this dragon pretty free. They have the vision for it. So again, another neutral objective going to G2. Caps is going to get this bot tower as well, you'd expect. And Mad Lions, what's the cross map? Maybe they can push in mid and move towards top. But then again, top lane, it's a full tank time Kench. Certainly, and they're not really in a position right now to get anything. Armor still means that the player is off, and they tried to cross map top. They're going to force Herald. They force Wunder out. See what G2 wants to get in response, Caps. Does he have TP up? He's just pushing in bot and hitting the tier 2 right now. And Mickey and Rek is pushing in mid, doesn't have TP, so I expect maybe they're going to play for this bot tier 2 mid tower. I mean, Mad is just losing a lot of farm right now. They're losing resources in the bot lane, they're losing resources in mid cars, even when he can to hold on. And we'll see how much this Herald actually nets them. Because in terms of map control and actually damage being done to Matt's half of the map, G2 is gaining huge advantages. Remember that gold gap wasn't actually that big. Or very controlled in the early game, but then blue games wide open in the mid game with the combination of Herald, one or two plays, choking opponents out in the mid game. It is certainly a good look. Top side. Maybe they can look for some kind of cross map with Wonder pushing in top, but no, Mad Lions are going to get a bot tier one. They invest the Herald and the TF ultimate. They have to use four members to actually take this down. So. Mad Lions slowly running out of plays, but they found one at least. Die, I Tom Kench, probably not. Maybe you'll get a tower or deny a couple waves. And then the opposite side, can you catch out the Blanc? We already saw them try to do it once. It looks pretty much impossible because she has three dashes, including Flash, to get away. But they might just force it. Humanoid doesn't have TP though, so it's only going to be a two-man. Caps doesn't have TP to respond. Maybe take the tower and then look for it afterwards. Oh, you're committing. QRQ for the follow-up. Wonder so thank you for now walking away, but the tower okay. not going to be nearly enough. Mad Lions making it easy. We wanted to know if you could dive the Tom Kench. It would appear that the answer is yes. That's said, it's still going to cost the tower on the bottom side. Exactly that, because the question is, was the trade worth it? Mad well, Caps might have to use all of them as Kaiser and Elio do collapse. Maybe he can try to find a kill here, but not quite the explosive game we were initially expecting. Yeah, Mad Lions need to be proactive. They need to force these players. Caps is in trouble. One dash. Second dash going to yep. come out. Now oh. the flash out as well. That's all. Hey, Cadrill, you Wait, said he can take this top tier too, because Wunder has TP as well, so they should be able to defend that. But yeah, you can see the problem they have over side lanes. Yeah. Tom Kench takes too much time to dive, so you can cross map easily. And LeBlanc is just way too hard to lock down. It's so, <laughs> it's, so yeah, it's so reoccurring. Yeah, it so consistently happens that it's not a, just a one-time thing. 
No, they, they literally built a brand off it. And here we go, the pick yep. on the Mickey. Will Kaiser they find it? going in. That's going to be a massive solar flare now going off. Reckless trying to disengage with his ultimate. Humanoid going to go golden for a brief moment. The stopwatch now coming out. Humanoid now going to try to back away, but Cap's instantly there to finish the job as soon as he comes out of stations. Kaiser getting obliterated. Mickey now chasing down Elio. Three stacks on the cusp of blows, fishing for four. Wonder the frontliner that they needed. Karzi not able to have the impact that he wants. Yes, he is fearless. Yes, no one can get on top of him, but he doesn't do enough damage to kill the Tom Kench. Exactly. Mad tried to go for a pick initially onto Mickey, and with the arrival of Wonder, the frontline just stalls enough time for Caps to join the fray. But Mad, they're not done yet. Dashing back. Armut locked up. He's going to leap away as much as he can. The Mist going to protect him, but here comes the Tom Kench. Wonder now chasing. Tongue Lash goes a bit wide. Armut sidestepping. G2 on the chase here. Not interested in pulling back. Not interested in trying for the Baron. Looking for these kills on Mad Lions. Bowling. can't do anything either. The commitment was so strong for Mad. What's interesting here is immediately when Humanoid respawned, he TPs another fight in mid. Go. Solar Flare now coming in. Kaiser immediately in the back line. Reckless untouched for now. Keep your eyes on those arrows because they do big damage. Kaiser almost immediately deleted. Alti was solid, but the follow-up is just not there. Humanoid taken out again. Caps double distortion right into the back line. El yo, yo no room to maneuver. It's a double kill for the LeBlanc. Mad Lions are being slaughtered. G2 want more kills. They're not interested in the Mountain Drake. Actually, they're just going to double dip. Wonder pushing forward. Caps pushing forward. Yankos taking the objective, and G2 in absolute control. Once again, the engage comes down onto Mickey, and he just tanks it. He does not care it's about So worth it. Humanoid drops. El yo, yo drops. G2 get themselves the and now they're going to get themselves the Baron. Yeah, they're going to force this up. Humanoid has ultimate, but El Yoya is nowhere to be seen. He'll be up in five seconds, but can he get here in time to actually pop the smite down? I think G2 have enough damage to take it. And this soul is going to hurt Mad Lions the later the game goes on. A mountain soul on Tamkench, on Braum, on Zin, especially these are the targets that you can actually easily hit, have only become more tankier. Karzi is going to have to find a miracle steal oh, here. Armut's God. going in. Desperate to get something back. The Ezreal is not going to connect with the Baron. 12k health. He's trying to fish with the Qs, but Yanko secures it. Armut now in the midst of the entire G2 team. He's quick on the retreat, but Yanko is quick on the follow up. Wonder now chasing him down as well. That's Arma gone. That's Caps into the back line. They want to delete this LeBlanc and get the hell out, but it's just not going to happen. Caps holding on to his life as Mickey continues to chase. He might not have mana, but he doesn't need it. Concussive blows coming in. Kaiser going down. G2 routing Mad Lions once again. Yeah, and I wonder if that's just it. We've seen Mad Lions come back from huge deficits, but so far behind now. 8k gold. El is going to fall. It's just a clean ace. Baron, Soul, G2 get everything. And there's still a top tier one. There's still a top tier two. A mid tower. There's so much resources still to be taken for G2 and Mad Lions. I think they've run out of options. Constantly in this game, we talked about options that Mad Lions have because it felt like that G2 didn't have the damage and G2, they have played patiently, extremely calmly, uh, and they find themselves with a 13 to two kill score, a 9K gold lead and a dominant. Also Mickey playing in between. I think these towers should fall soon. G2 could even look for some kind of dive if they want to, but that's gonna be mid and bots will fall shortly after. G2 simply too strong for Mad Lions to step up and contest oh, with. Wonder. wonder going in now. There's a lot of CC here, but if Mad burn all of their cooldowns on this Tom Kench, G2 will surely take the fight. Wonder kick back into the middle of the team. Reckless now pulling back. Wonder is going to go down. No, not quite. Thick skin, Mickey X. There to body block when it matters. Caps unstoppable, and it is a feeding frenzy here. G2, blood in the water, and they smell it. Gonna make it a quick, easy victory now for G2. Commanding first game, slowly but surely, blowing open this gold lead, taking every dragon in sight. Mad Lions left with few to no options at every stage of the game. G2 have dominated this first one. Yeah, fantastic performance by G2 and Mad Lions. You have to question the draft in a sense where you have globals but nothing to play for and a lot of single target damage against a lot of frontline on G2. I have to say though, yesterday's series showed us that even though Rogue did take down Misfits pretty Convincingly, Misfits was able to come back to five games, so Mad Lions, a lot to review in this, but definitely a statement from G2 in game one. Impressive. It, just a really impressive game from G2. From start to finish, the execution was clean. The control